So on this lesson, we're going to talk about painting the masterpiece. What we're going to be covering is creating our channel logo, creating our channel banner, creating our channel end screen, and writing our channel description. And I want to give you guys a disclaimer. None of what I'm going to be walking you through require you to be a professional designer. I'm not a professional designer, and I've made multiple six figure with this business, and I'm also not a professional video editor as you guys you know, know the business model doesn't require you to, make, to even make the video it also doesn't require you for you to do any graphic design also and everything that i'm going to be showing you walking me through are already pre-built so having there's already a logo already pre-built you just have to do slight minor changes and you can do it for zero cost so you can literally create your channel logo channel art uh a description and all of that in under 20 minutes with zero cost so and also below to make sure that nobody get lost and you have also the instruction uh, you find a PDF with the exact same step that I'm gonna be going through in this video so the PDF had the exact same steps creating your logo creating your channel art and also creating your end screen so you can use that PDF also uh, whenever maybe you're creating a new channel uh, so that you you honestly gonna get used to the process honestly whenever you're creating a new channel you can always refer back to the PDF if you want so first we're going to talk about creating our channel logo. Now, basically, if you don't know what a channel logo is, it's basically, as you can see, I pointed at the arrow. It's basically the picture that shows when people search for your channel. And whenever they're watching a video, you also see the name of the channel and you see the channel logo next to it. So that's a channel logo. So guys, using the PDF, I'm going to be walking through how to create your logo. And we're going to go into creating the channel art and the other good stuff. So as good to see, step one is creating an account or log into canva.com. Now, at the moment, as I'm doing this right now, I thought I'd add the link, but I'll, I'll fix that up so you guys can actually just click it and it'll go to the website. But it's pretty simple. Actually, the link will be below. I'll add it the link below also that you guys can go to canva.com. So I go to canva.com. Now, I'm already logged into my account. It just automatically logged me in. But once you go there, if you don't have an account, you're going to have to log in. If you create an account, then you're just going to get to the same page that I do, that I'm on right now. And the second thing is you just type logo. And it's step by step. Once you log in, you know, type logo in the search tab, and then you choose any example template that you like. Now, Canva already have a lot of pre-built logo. Now you can choose to start from scratch. So it's a, just a blank square, and you can just create your logo from scratch. But usually, what I do honestly, I just find a logo related to kind of my channel or design that I like, and I just kind of switch it up and add my channel name to it. So I take out the name. That's in there, and I just add my channel name to it. So you choose whatever logo that caught your attention, uh, and you choose whatever logo that, that caught your attention. And you're just gonna click on it. So I'm just gonna look for some one of them that I like for my channel. And I'm just gonna select it. So I'm going to select this one and basically it's super easy. Canva is super simple. Now this is not going to be, uh, there's a lot of video of professional, like I said, I'm not a professional graphic designer that will show you how to use Canva, but it's super simple to use. So that's why I'm not going to go too deep in detail. Like I say, I prefer to go deep in detail on the stuff that's actually going to make you money and that's actually going to grow your channel. Stuff like the channel logo, I have seen channel, like I said, that they just put their picture. They just put random stuff in their profile and the channel doesn't really matter. So I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but you can change your background color. I suggest that you come up with a brand color. A brand color is basically a color that people will identify with your brand. For example, let me go to YouTube real quick to just show you guys. Now, not all channels do this, but it's helpful so people can identify your channel. For example, this channel right here, um, their brand color is, is blue. So people will straight up when they're browsing on YouTube, they'll be like, oh, that's a Alux video because it's blue. Um, if we take Ted, their brand color is red. Like you can see it's red. They use red a lot. Ted is their brand color is red. So you can come up with a brand color. doesn't matter. You could choose not to. It's not uh, make or break. Uh, basically, I'm just going to... Make the background kind of dark gray. And I'm going to make those. Oh, by the way, you just click background. And the color will show right here. You always click the color right here. And 
you select color or you could go more if you want to drag but I'm just gonna select the color that they have here the default colors and I just want to change th those into white so you just literally click click whatever you want to change and you click color click white it's gonna change it so I want to change this into white click it and in our cases when you are trying to change like the a word or a, or a, a text it, it won't have it there it will have it there text, co text color if you hover over it will tell you what text color I can make it bold or I can make it not bold. And I want to keep it white. I want to change that to white. And I forgot the channel, the channel name, the example that we're making. Okay, document. So I'm just gonna add that. Change that K to a D. And Change that to document. And just like that, uh, what you do is you can just up here, type the name of your channel. Document. And just press download. You click download. And just like that, it's it downloads to your computer. And we have the design right here. So, going back to the PDF, edit it based on your liking and choose your brain color. Uh, that's optional. If you, if you don't want to, that's fine. And you just download it. And just like that, we have our channel logo created. Now, number two is going to, we're going to create our channel art or some people call it channel banner. Now, looking at the example below, the channel banner is basically what shows when you click on the channel, you see the big picture that shows, uh, that's the channel banner. It just kind of tell you what the channel is about. And sometimes, for example, this one, Fight Mediocrity, big idea for better life. So basically, we're going to create our channel banner for a channel. Like I said, super simple, step by step, I already pre built for you. So without further ado, I'm going to go to my computer, uh, to the Chrome, so we can actually get into this. Having my PDF open, but this time, instead of using Canva, we're going to use another website called Snapper. Uh, Canva is, you can do it on Canva, but Snapper, they already have the dimension because when it comes to the banner, you have to know certain dimension. So a word doesn't get cut out or it's not too big, it's not too small. We want the exact dimension. I'm going to show you why we're going to use Snapper as we go into Snapper. So leaving Canva, we're going to just type Snapper. And I'm automatically logged in, but you're just going to create an account. Uh, I'm already logged into my account and once you log in it's gonna bring you to this page So let's follow the PDF create an account. We'll just log in once you log in We scroll down to header banner and profile page section So if we scroll down We see blogging and infographic section now we see header and banner and profile page section and it says then select YouTube channel art pretty simple YouTube channel art as you can see, we can start from scratch, or we can just select. Similar as when we create a logo, you just select which one that stand out for you. And usually, my channel art are honestly simple. Like I said, we don't worry about those stuff. They're not really going to bring us money or view like that. So, let me pick this one right here. And if you came up with a brand color i highly recommend you add the color here so how snap will work pretty simple you, you can see it's already giving you a uh if you're gonna use it for the first time it's already giving you the arrow saying change your background color if you want so i'm just gonna click background and now the background is white you can add a photo you can upload a photo from your computer uh you can add a pattern they have like pre-built pattern um but i'm just gonna add my brand color now I want to add the exact color that I had here. So say for example, if we click on the background and we go to color, each color have like a code. So we have hashtag, uh, the exact color for this is hashtag 54, 54, 50, 54. Ooh, lucky, uh, something that I can remember. So you can see right here background color, if we choose color, 
um, we could choose the default color. We can also like do the same thing we did Canva, like custom it, but we want to keep the same color 54, 54, 54. Enter. It's weird. All right, it's weird that it's not showing up. 54, 54, 54. All right. So now I just want to add the channel name. Docum. And one thing. Yeah, I'm just going to keep it like that. Docum. And you can, we don't have a website to delete stuff. You just got to click, click it. And if you have a Mac, you probably have delete or backspace. I'm just going to delete it. Delete. 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 And you can hover it in the middle. You can see you have arrow kind of telling you when it's in the middle. And the reason we're using snap is because that's the size of a, the size of a, channel art is 25 to 60 but depending where people are watching our channel is going to show different so if they're watching on a mobile only this is going to show they're not going to see all that other part if they're watching on a desktop like a laptop as i'm using right now all this is going to show horizontally or vertically <laughs> i get confused between both but if they're watching on tv the whole thing is going to show so we had the word white so i want to make this white again you just click on the color Bring it to white and I want to make it bold it's usually right here and text so this is to make it bold I don't know why it's not making it bold and if you do I'm gonna say you can click undo and it will undo it So for some reason, it's not letting me do it bold. So I'm just going to delete this and just add text. You just click add text and we write it docum and we change that into white and we'll make this bold. And there's a bunch of other fancy stuff. Oh, it's already bold, so this one cannot be bold. And you can also change the font, how you want the wording to look. But I actually, I kind of like this. And I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger. I'm going to make it 300. Uh, and I want to make sure it's in the middle. And I'm going to click download. And usually I select high resolution PNG. And it's going to download. Of course, you can download it with the name. Here's how you could change the name. I forgot to do it. Document CA for channel art. And click download. It's already downloaded. Now it's going to download it. And that is basically how we create our channel art. Same idea, same concept, same step. But we're just using Snapbot to be able to do it. Now, the next thing we're going to talk about is creating our channel end screen. Basically, a channel end screen is what shows at the end of a video. It shows at the last 20 seconds of a video. Now, this one, you have to create the end screen. Some people do create an end screen. Some people don't. But whether you don't or not, you have the option to basically add up next video. Or you can put other video on your channel that people can click on. So when people finish watching a video, they can you can suggest to them other videos to check, to check it out. So end screen is basically a design that have the subscribe to your channel and the up next video or the previous video. Further on, we're gonna be talking about more on how to do that. So if we go to the PDF, same thing, but with this, we're gonna use Snapple again. So we're gonna to go to the Snapple home. We're gonna to go to menu, 
create a graphic, we go back to the home page, and similar step, we go to the header, banner, and profile page section, and we'll see YouTube end screen. And if we click on YouTube end screen, we we'll have pre-built one. We can always change it. Usually I click the simplest one and I just keep it brand color. I like this one right here. I'm gonna select this one. And I wanna keep the same brand color, which is the 54, 54, 54 that we had. So background, color, 54, 54, 54. And we're gonna keep the wording white. Because the red doesn't really go with that color. And they also have a, a line under it. Let me change the line. I'm trying to see how did they add the line. Oh, yeah, here. This is how you can add a line under the word. All right, so we have previous, we have next videos. And change this into white. And just like that, we have document end screen. Document end screen. And click download to the top right, high resolution. And boom, you have your channel end screen. So now let's summarize everything that we did. We've created our channel logo, one. We've created our channel banner art or channel art or banner uh, we've created our channel end screen and remember guys I left the cheat sheet or a PDF before below that you guys can actually use it click it uh, feel free I do wanted to make it simple simple for those of you guys maybe you're not too technical and I was probably going too fast then you can of course slow down this video and you can go up with it at your own pace and you can have the PDF also to follow along to make it simple so by this video right now we should already have a logo we should have a channel are created and also a channel end screen and you guys are gonna see how beneficial that is in the future of course it's nice to have some uh, channel logo make your channel actually look professional and not just anyhow even those people that grow their channel just by anyhow <laughs> so we want to make it look at least professional so the bonus i want to add i added this bonus on here is how to add a perfect channel description for ranking for a specific search term so this is, this would not guarantee, but a lot of the time it actually help YouTube to identify where to place your channel. For example, if your channel has certain keyword in the description, when people are searching for the specific keyword, YouTube is gonna know to recommend your channel. So we're just gonna be talking about how to write the perfect channel description for specific, for ranking for specific search term within our niche. So for example, this channel right here, the trending, basically the channel description is what show when you go to the about section. It just gives you a description of what your channel is. If someone search for your channel and the channel will show up and also the description will show up. That's also why you can see the only reason that that's also why one of the thing also sometimes when people search for terms or phrases that are on the description, the channel also show up because that's how the algorithm works in many ways also for search term, is when people are searching for a specific keyword, a phrase, or term, it would recommend video or channel that had the keyword, those keyword, phrase, or term uh, written in the description of their video or even the description of their channel also. So a channel description is just a brief outline of what type of content you'll be publishing on your channel. It'll appear in your channel about section and, and YouTube search results. Your channel description is a way for visitors to learn more about your channel and type of video the channel is consist of. And a well-written channel description can also convert visitor into subscribers. Also using keyword, uh, we refer to them as search term also, and your channel description can help your channel with YouTube SEO. Again, SEO is just basically search engine optimizer. Uh, basically, your channel show when people search for specific word, to put it into simple term. Channel description should simply be telling the audience the benefit that they'll be getting in your channel. Nobody wanna read, this channel is about this, we started in this, our mission, uh, that's good. Uh, you can tell your mission, but you better make sure that what they're reading is, hey, our channel mission is to get you uh, to be in the best shape as possible. Our channel mission is to get you, if the, ch if the channel is about 
weight loss or whatever. Our channel mission is to get you informed in the world of engineering. Our channel mission, you want to tell the benefit of what they're getting. You don't want to be talking about yourself, why we started this channel, yada, yada, yada. Nobody want to read that. You just want something super simple and the benefit that they'll be getting into subscribing to your channel. Most people at the end of the day, most human we make decisions based on our benefit. We choose a lot of decisions we make in life is based on our benefit. How, how will it benefit us? We don't really think about, well, most of the time we don't think about how it's going to benefit the other and sacrificing our desire. So you want to just tell them what they're going to get from the channel. Um, let me read this Vox example real quick. Because it's straight up, it's a Vox help you cut through the noise and understand what's driving event and the headline uh, in and all life. On everything from taxes, on terrorism, to Taylor Swift. Vox video is Joe yada 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 and they gave uh, credit to I guess the people who imagine the channel but it just tell them hey we just help you cut to the noise and understand what's driving the events kind of I'll make it simpler you know but I like how they said Vox help you so they just straight up start out here's what you're gonna get out of this here's why you should subscribe to our channel benefit benefit and we want to make sure that our channel description is simple by telling the audience the benefit that we'll be getting on the channel. And we want to add broad keyword to your niche that people are likely to search for. And we're going to be using a tool called vidIQ. So we don't have to be guessing on broad keyword within our niche. We're going to be using vidIQ to actually go to this. And we want to add a call to action and your description letting people know to subscribe. Simple. You see this description right here? Uh, you will find new video posted most of the week, uh, you will be you will be the best photographer video. Yada 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 blah 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 every Monday. And at the end, it say please subscribe uh, to start learning for free now. Please subscribe to start learning for free now. So we always want to have a call to action telling people to subscribe to our channel. At the end of the day, that's what we want. They subscribe, they watch more video, we make more money. And we want to keep the description one paragraph. Uh, as I was taught in school, a paragraph is three to four sentences long could be two uh, we don't care about rules over here at least for most part some part um it could be two two to four sentences you know something really short something really simple and make sure i know some people sentence could be a paragraph so make sure it's super short and simple um for example you will find new video posted you can see this one you will find new video posted most day of the week we have one sentence you will be the best photography Yada yada yada. On Monday, we have two. Other series, yada 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 yada, um, and much more. We have three. The third one was was kind of long, but notice how they paraphrase certain stuff like real world review, five minute portrait, unboxing, and sniff test. Unboxing is a search term. I know that a lot of people search for. Review, mini portrait, m mini portrait might be one. Uh, photography videos, best photography videos, audio podcasts. So I can. I already, based on my head and kind of intuition, just a little bit, and also from doing a ton of research, I can already see word, term that are searching for that they have already put in the description that's related to well, the channels about photography and just filmography in general. So they add those keywords that kind of help out with that. And you can also find freelancer that will create your channel logo, just another bonus. And honestly, if you just super super lazy which is fine you can just find someone that will create your channel logo channel art and end screen for you for as low as 40 bucks on fiverr i'm going to show you guys how to do this real quick but real quick i want to help you guys with uh with adding broad keyword to your niche that people are likely to search for and i'm actually going to write a description right now with you guys i'm going to put in a google doc and just going to write a description about my channel uh the channel example that we're creating so you guys can actually understand how or this can be done so below you actually see a link to download vidIQ it's a Chrome extension basically um, the link will be below so I'm gonna click on it right here and this is the website now of course you're gonna sign up uh, to create an account now I already have an account I'm just gonna log into my account and just create an account now I created another account because I have a I have the boost version. They have a free version, which is perfectly fine. People use it. 
But as you go in professional, as you do more, I just recommend you get the Pro, which is like $750 a month. But I have the Boost version, which is actually not that expensive. Also, it's $39 a month. And trust me, these two literally give you, especially the Boost, which I have. It's also recommended, <laughs> which I have. Literally, when I'm optimizing my videos, which I rarely do, my team does. But it literally gives you everything. You upload the video, it gives you recommended term to put on your title, recommended term to put on your tag recommended term or keyword to actually put in your description so it's the closest to uh to helping you with your youtube journey it's probably going to be the most the tool that you're going to be using the most now there's other tool that does kind of similar thing like tubebuddy and there's a bunch of other new soft new new one i've been hearing that people have been have been creating but this one i'm not gonna say it's one of the oldest but it's one of it's one of the oldest and it's also verified by youtube and they it's also been said that it's the closest thing that is connected to the youtube api now i cannot confirm this but this have helped me honestly grow my channel and a bunch of other people a bunch of other huge company use it and it's certified by youtube so that's good enough for me so trust me i've used TubeBuddy, which is really good i've used the other two but Honestly, VidIQ, especially if you have the Boost version, it's all that you need. Probably the only two, honestly, that you're going to need throughout the YouTube journey um, to be successful. So I'm just going to log in. I have a free, I created another account just to kind of get into the free version. Um, so I'll log into that to just kind of be with you if you're using the free account. If you got the Boost, and that's perfectly fine. But you're really going to need it uh, moving forward. So as I log into my, to my, uh, free account uh you're just gonna get to here once you log in and i deleted the chrome extension so like i'm starting from scratch so you're gonna click up here download extension you want to download the extension uh to your chrome you're gonna click add to chrome add extension and then it's gonna bring you to a video and the videos you're gonna explain to you say welcome to vidIQ yada yada ya. and here's how to use it yada yada ya. and it will be really simple i'll go through it a little bit now like i said i'm not gonna go to the technical stuff um but vidIQ is a tool that we really need to get familiar with we're gonna go more into that in the optimization section analytic and all of that but for now we're just gonna use it for keyword research we just gotta know how to use it for keyword research which is what i'm gonna be talking about so you create an account or you had to create an account and you just sign into your account click sign into your account um and boom, you'll be logging. And don't worry about this. It's just another Chrome extension that's called Social Blade that I have. Not really required. It just kind of show you kind of the estimate earning. Um, I actually, I honestly don't use it. That was the only reason why I, I use it. And it's not really accurate. It's just like an estimate. Uh, but don't worry about all those other Chrome extensions that you see that I have. Those are just extra stuff. I'm extra. Um, but, you know, vidIQ will show you, when you click on a video, it will show you like view per hour that this video is getting. So this video is getting like 400 views per hour. It got a total of 3.4 million, which you can see right here also. Um, tell you the duration, other cool stuff. We'll be going that into later on. Show you the video tag that the person used. So it actually show you the tag that the person is using. You can sometimes if you're making a video similar, you can copy some of their tag. So it make the process easier. It'll show you the ta the channel tag, which you're gonna be talking about later on, and other cool stuff. Um, but for now, we just need it for the keyword research. So now that we have it, if you go to the video, if you go to the website, go back to the website. If you go to the keyword section, this is where you can do keyword research. Now, it's very limited. It only shows you like three, which is not really good. That's why when we have the Boost Up Pro, we, we just have unlimited amount of keyword related to whatever we type. So if we type for like plane, it just shows you three, plane crash. And sometimes it's not even related. But if we have more, if we have the pro, we'll get 200 more related keywords. So you get unlimited related keyword. That's why it's very important to use the pro because you more freely with the free version, like every free stuff, you're kind of limited to a certain point. So basically to go back to the slide, I'm just going to write a description for my channel. I'm just going to open Google Doc real quick. And we're just going to follow all the tip that I've already covered. So, channel name, I'm just gonna name the Google Doc 
Docum. You can do this on Note, whichever one that works best for you. Docum, uh, channel description. And I name it Docum. I think I just want to make it a channel of a documentary. You just make short documentary. Uh, I'm going to keep it broad documentary, just documentary on random stuff. Uh, you could, like I said, you could make a specific documentary on... I could have made make a specific documentary on history, famous authors, famous philosophers. So I'm just going to keep it broad right now. And if we go back to the slide, we want to make sure that the channel description simply tell the audience the benefit that they'll be getting from the channel. So um, let me just write what the channel is going to be about and the benefit that they're going to be getting. So. The Docum bring all the hidden infos about the world. to short and straight to the point documentary. I know I spelled documentary wrong. documentaries so honestly the channel description could be like one sentence long uh, if we go into the other point we want to add broad keyword relating to your niche now this is exactly why I wanted to show you guys basically you can either use YouTube and I'm gonna use both for example if I type documentary you just type your keyword documentary now, if I had the pro, I don't, or, or the boots, I don't even have to use the website. I could just click here. Like, it will show you all related keyword. Uh, but we're just going to use uh, the free one uh, for now. So, one, you can either look at videos that are related to your niche that will show up. Uh, for example, I just type my niche. My channel is going to be talking about documentary. And you can kind of see the keyword that they have. If you click on the keyword, it will show you all the keyword that they're using. Uh, I want to see keyword. For example, this is 9-11 broad stuff. I want to see keyword related to documentary, like documentaries. And we just worry about the search volume. I want to find keyword that have 10K plus search volume. 10K plus search volume. Doesn't matter about the competition. Don't worry about the overall score. We're going to talk about that later on. I just want to make sure find keyword that people are searching for. So we have documentaries. I want to make sure to add that to my title. I have it right here. And I'll say add 3 to 10, honestly. Uh, I noticed documentary spelled different. Like 5 million people search for that on a monthly basis, an average. This too is not accurate because it changed every single day, you know, on a hourly, secondly, set. Secondly, time frame people are searching for terms, so it gives you the average uh, search search volume that people are searching for on a monthly basis. So, document to re document bring you hidden info. Documentary. I'll say good document to are hard to come across. So be sure to, and that's the call to action. So be sure to subscribe. Remember, we always want to have a call to action to keep updated. And I want to, for my last word, I want to add, I want to add a keyword. And if you click on, for example, for documentary, it will show you some of the keyword. So free documentary, 
uh, there's over, what's the search volume? There's over 300,000 people that are searching for free documentary. So that's another keyword. So be sure to subscribe to get updated for more free documentary. Yeah. And just like that, we have our channel description. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep it like that. I know I know that's how you spelled it, but I don't care. Don't worry about it. Not that much people go in with the channel description. Not that much people are actually gonna be like, wait, you misspelled that. No, people are not gonna worry about that. So we're just gonna keep it that way. And just like that, we have our channel description. And now we know how to use vidIQ. And real quick, let me kinda, it's the same thing when using vidIQ, if you're using it here, same thing. But I use it on YouTube, so I can just stay on YouTube. So I don't really go to their website like that. If I go to the keyword, so if I click, it will show me the search volume. And if I click one, it will show me similar keyword. If I click recent plane crash, it will show me similar keyword related to plane crash. If I click airplane, it will show me keyword related to airplane, airplanes, show me keyword related to airplanes, B-O-B airplanes. So similar thing, how it work on the, if you're gonna be using the website. Uh, not that much different, honestly. And of course, we add a call to action. So we have short and simple, given the benefit of what they're gonna get. And we use a few broad keyword here and there, three to five, we use about three, and we add a call to action, really simple. And we kept it three to four. Well, we had about, we had two, I, th I think we had about three sentences. So we kept it really short. And this is something, honestly, most of you guys have already created this. Should not take you more than two minutes to be able to do this. And like I was saying, you can also find a freedom style to create your channel logo, channel art, and end screen for you for at lowest 40 bucks on Fiverr. And I'm going to be going to Fiverr to actually show you guys how you can actually just find someone to do this for you. If you've never heard of Fiverr, uh, uh, then I'm going to show you how to use it. And I'm going to leave a link below to Fiverr. So you can click the link and you actually, if you never use it, you can create an account. And I'm going to be walking you through how to actually use it. All right, so basically, the website is... How it sound Fiverr, but with two R. Even if you type it with one R, it's still gonna show the same website. Um, I'm already logged into my account. Uh, you're gonna log into your account, create an account, and log in, and it's gonna get you to the same page that you're right now. And all that you have to type is whatever you need. Basically, Fiverr is a freelancer website. For those of you guys that don't know, freelancer basically means you can hire people to do job for you, uh, virtual job like that. So, for example, if I want someone to uh, create a thumbnail, I can hire someone if I create a thumbnail. If I want someone to, um, hey, maybe call 100 people for me, I can give them that task. I just have to pay them money and they do the task for me. So, similar thing, I can find graphic designer. If I want someone to create a logo, channel art, and end screen, I can find someone to create that. So, anything that you want to do, you can find someone. Most that you want to do, you can find someone to do it for you if it doesn't require for the person to see you face to face. So like hit right now, you just type YouTube logo, banner, end screen. And you're literally gonna find people, I would design YouTube logo, banner, and end screen. And usually what I like to do, I like to filter it, sort by best selling. And usually best selling, they usually the people that have most reviews. I like to look for people that have most reviews. This one. I do animated, this has nothing to do with what we want. I will design you YouTube branding, end screen, and logo for you. I'll open that in a new tab, open this one in a new tab. I will create sub YouTube channel with banner, logo, and end screen. I will design YouTube channel, uh, channel banner. So you find people that would do it separately. This guy just do banners, and those are a pretty good job. And five bucks to do it for you. It's really cheap on a budget. So once you click on the person, never just pay them and continue. I like to contact them first and tell them my requirement. Uh, for example, we definitely not gonna spend $100 in creating those simple stuff. So this person will create for five bucks, five bucks will just create a logo. And the standard, which I'm guessing this is a recommended package, yeah, recommended package. He'll design a logo, channel, art background, branding logo with source file, um, we don't have an end screen for a hundred bucks. So 
25 give us a logo and the channel art. And 100 bucks give us an animated logo, a regular logo, a brand new logo, background, channel art, a subscribe button. Don't worry about what that is right now if you don't know what that is, and an end screen. Um, 100 bucks. I can literally create that in five minutes. So this guy, he'll provide with you with a uh, YouTube logo, a banner, and an end screen for five bucks. For 10 bucks, he'll give you two concepts. So you can choose which concept that you like. For 15, he'll give you three concepts. So you can choose which concept that you like. It's he's he doesn't really look that professional. I guess that's why he's charging that cheap. Or the best way to actually go about this also, if you can find people that do it separately. Usually someone who's just professionally designing logo, they do a better job. And bestseller, I'll design a minimalist business logo, 25 bucks, 15 bucks. And those people, they have a lot of good reviews, uh, five star, and they're providing professional stuff. So like 15 bucks for just one logo. This is actually how I got uh, the logo for FYR created, just like that, 15 bucks. Uh, and they give you two concepts for 15 bucks. And then I'll type banner, and then I'll type end screen. And basically what you do, you contact the person, and it's simple as, hey, hey, I'm looking for someone to design my new channel logo. And tell them what your channel is about. My channel is about... Da, 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 da. And if you have a brand color in mind, then put the brand color. And I want the brand color to be blue. For example, this one is kind of black and gold, or you can have mixed color. And it's about that. If you don't, you just say, hey, I'm looking for this. My channel is about yada, yada, yada. The name of the channel is da, 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 and I would like to hire you to create one for me and just like that you send it and usually I send it for like three to three to five people and whoever respond first I uh, just get the gig <laughs> so I just send it to them and they would message me back here and there. And then they could either say, all right, go to my profile and just click the $15 and click continue. Um, I've never just look at somebody's profile and just click continue. I, I contact them first just to make sure that they're there. Sometimes people have their gig on Fiverr and they're traveling. Honestly, they're traveling. All right. Or they're just not in the computer at the moment. Um, and we want this to be done fast within a day. This should not take long. It also tell you how long it will take a day. So you want to make sure also that is cover and set. And I want to show you a messaging. Usually when you message someone like I, so I got this girl to this Photoshop for me. So I wanted this picture with the mountain in the background instead of the desert that the girl was looking at and also the girl taking out that girl in the picture. And It turned out to be like that. So there's no girl and the background change. So all I did, I messaged her. And we've been messaging for a long time because she done a lot of the previous work for me. But it was basically, I sent her a message. For example, when you click contact the person on their profile, click contact. I said, hey, I need your help. And then she respond. And I send the picture. I want you to change yada yada. Just like you're messaging someone on Facebook or whatever, yada yada. You just send them whatever you need. And once you guys agree on the price, and sometimes they ask you how much. Here's the thing. I like I like I look at their profile. Are right, you charging 15 bucks? I'll tell them because a lot of people on Fiverr or just any other freelancer website, when you say my budget is five bucks, they're gonna be like, oh, five bucks. 
let's make it 10 bucks. So let's make it 15. They'll put a little bit extra over it. If I said, if I in the beginning said 15 bucks, they would have said the same thing. They're like, oh, 15 bucks, let's make it 20, 25. So some of them, some of them will say yes with your offer, but some of them will try to get more money. So I start low. <laughs> so if he's charging 15 bucks for what I want, I'll probably be like 10 bucks. Then he probably gonna, he's probably gonna say 15. And I'll be like, okay, let's do it. So so usually we just contact contact and they can send you the offer and you could just say if they don't send you the offer you guys agree yeah yeah it will cost that much and just say hey okay send me the offer and once you click accept offer it has you just click and continue right here so you just click accept and it asks you to put your requirement which you could you should already send the requirement on dm and just like that you put your card and we'll charge you 15 bucks and how it would look like you get taken to a page similar to this. So whenever the day come, you get a notification on your orders that say complete. And if you click it, it's gonna literally show you the completion. It's gonna show you whatever you asked for. The logo is gonna have all of this. So the person will add a message, thanks for your order, and it's gonna send you your, your logo. And it's as simple as that, just like that. You have your local end screen. That's if you want to outsource that. And that's how Fiverr work. So, uh, of course, guys, um, try to keep this really short, really simple. I'm looking forward to your success. And I'll see you guys in the next lesson.